afternoon everyone welcome back to the philippines on this ilongo centered <laughs> lazy sunday with sabrina how is everyone doing blessed sunday blessed lazy sunday so i've got my starring role here i've got my fish i'm just waiting for you guys to uh start to come up and get on board Matambaka, hi there, hi there. Yeah, so I have some matambaka here and I have got some galunggong. Okay, galunggong, of course, I'm going to make into our tuyo. Of course, it would be a lot better if it's a smaller guys, right? And then for my matambaka, you can use the lagambukid, pretty much any white meat fish. For this guy, I am going to turn this into, of course, a wonderful daing. And I don't have the patience. Hi, Marge, blessed Sunday. I don't have the patience to cut, so if I may suggest, when you do go to the market or you do buy it from your fish supplier, already they got the knives, they have the amazing skills, so just have them do it for you, right? Have them butterfly it. Again, what meat would be ideal for daing? Siyempre yung medyo, the one that's in season, the one that's inexpensive because there are times when the moon is full and fish is more expensive, right? But when the moon's out and it's dark and so the fishermen have their lights directly on the water, the fish start coming. So they have a better catch, right? And I'm pretty sure, like the gospel, um, they direct their, their they direct their nets to the side where they can catch fish. Of course, then Jesus says, "Be fishers of men." Right? That's through Scripture, through sharing the word. Also, again, let's go back to my matambaka. So matambaka is what anywhere from 200 now to 20, but sometimes it's cheaper a kilo. It's wonderful fish it's got white meat so i like to choose fish with white meat it's 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 better i suppose you can choose a tulingan as well i've not tried it it's more of a red meat red meat is primarily the blood is inside of the fish as well so it's a little more fishy okay so what are the things there are some of you watching from germany hi Ruel. oh wala kang lakad dying today dying today and I dressed up because I'm Ilonga. We respect this kind of food, right? Daing and tuyo. But out in the market, it's extremely salty and it is bad for us. Really, really bad for us. So when you go to the mountains where they do not have refrigeration and so on and not much fish, they have a tendency to buy a lot of daing and tuyo. And you will see one of the biggest conditions they have is kidney, renal failure because there's so much salt. So the good news is we can have our daing and eat it too, have our cake and eat it too. I'm going to make wonderful, wonderful daing and to you, less salt. Of course, we don't even have to put it out in the sun because say we don't have patience. No, we don't have to put it out in the sun. So it's um, a great recipe. And ever since I've discovered this, where I go into the market, hi, Dan, hi, Dan, you're going to make daing with me. You're going to make daing with me. Okay. So yeah, so what, when you see fish that is in season and that's cheap, buy, buy away. One of the things I did with the children is when we were in Chargao, they had really tiny galunggong. I love it, I love the small galunggong and any of that small fish. Hi Max, hi Max. So I bought that up and because I'm lazy, I didn't even remove the intestine. Maliit siya eh. if it's that small, you don't have to worry. And I d immediately put that, washed it of course, and then put it into my brine solution. And then I deep fried it, and that really fed me and the kids. They loved it. We would eat with our hands. So we would put the shreds on top of vegetable. We would put the shreds on top of a beautiful fried rice. We would put the shreds into our mongo, or have it direct, just these beautiful crispy fried fish 
which you eat everything from the tail to the head because it's fresh. So basically what we're gonna do now, again, when you do go to the market, please have them fillet it, have them butterfly it for you. What fish do you use? Use any fish in season. I like Matambaka, Dalagang Bukid, there are a few others there. Even the swordfish is absolutely brilliant for this, right? For the smaller fish, any, Galunggong, Amdilis, you name it, right? The smaller, the better. So this is the, the smallest I could find. So naturally, they had to clean the insides for me, okay? Anyway, let's start. Another thing is, yeah, I, I need a candle if I can have one. Another thing is for my audience in Germany, you know, people watching out there, a lot of Filipinas, Pinais, married to foreigners, diba? We love this, we love this. But then the foreigners say, Ay, I don't like the smell, not allowed. I promise you, when you make it yourself, and you can do this anywhere in the world, okay? When you make it yourself, thank you, thank you. So I have a candle here. Blessed Sunday, everyone, blessed Sunday. Because there's a candle we light. We are the light of the world through scripture, diba? <laughs> I keep getting lost into that. Anyways, but because you can do this anywhere in the world, you can buy whatever local fish there, you know, even um, in Italy, what do they have? The sardine, you can do this to the sardine as well. You, when you're gonna fry this, okay, you just light the candle. The smell is not intense anymore because it's fresh. So as soon as I brine this, okay, for one hour, I put it in the freezer and then I just pull it out and use it for what I want. Today I'm gonna to show you three ways. Of course, the regular dyeing and to you, which we love in our breakfast, right? But I'm gonna, I'm gonna show you also how to bottle it, right? And then I'm also gonna show you a to you pasta. Just so you know exactly how versatile this incredible, humble dying into you is. So we'll start, okay? Remember when you go to the palenque, choose the fish that is cheap, choose the fish that is out there and available. The smaller the fish, the better for the to you. You don't need to clean it. And of course, for the butterflying, which is quite hard work, have them do it for you in the market have your fish dealer do it for you, okay? All right, lovely. And it's so fresh, this is really, really fresh fish. So in a, I have about a kilo, one kilo here, half a kilo of matambaka for my dying, and about half a kilo of galunggong for my tuyo, right? So in two cups of water, one kilo, two cups water, almost a cup, of, um, I'm using McCormick iodized salt for this, right? But you can also use rock salt. If it's rock salt, fill it to the cup, right? If it's iodized salt, then you wanna go maybe about uh, three fourths of a cup, a little bit less than a cup, okay? So in my two cups water, I'm putting in about three fourths cup of iodized salt right and then I am putting in half a cup of vinegar right you like my duckies okay okay duckies right so half a cup of vinegar in there and believe it or not guys this is my brine solution mommy I want to add some herbs and some cayenne and a little bit of cumin in my bottling and a little bit of McCormick laurel of course to give it a little bit of drama no but for now, this is the basic. So you put all your fish in there, right? And we pretend that I am gonna brine this for exactly one hour. I'm just soaking it for one hour in this, okay? And so what's happening is my fish, okay, my fish is absorbing That brine, of course, one hour long. So what did I put in? Three fourth cup, I'm just mixing all the salt so that it melts underneath. Three fourth cup of um, McCormick iodized salt, refined salt. I put in two cups of water, okay? And then I put in one half cup of vinegar, okay? Now what happens here is 
your fish is just perfectly salted so it's not extremely salty but please do run hello where can i see some of your messages duckies oh yes thank you yes i love my duckies hello anife how are you hi francis oh so these are food biz ideas huh with a humble to you and it's gonna be this ilonga tisai that's going to teach it to you it is whee, it's a no-brainer it's absolutely wonderful and this is our breakfast when I go out with the children, I love to go into the local markets. When we go to, you know, the different resorts and I buy their beautiful fresh fish, the smaller ones better because we're tamad. And I do this, everything from putting it into my okra, putting it into my uh, mixed vegetables of squash and what have you, uh, ampalaya, putting it into my pasta, putting it into my breakfast, diba? Osha, let me remove these duckies and we'll start to fry. I'm gonna, let's pretend that we've had this for an hour already, okay? So don't, don't forget, one hour in its brine solution, three fourth cup uh, McCormick iodized salt, one half cup uh, vinegar, uh, two cups of water for one kilo of fish, whether it's to you or whether it's dying. Or in this case, I put both, okay? Okay, so we leave this here for one hour. And I'm gonna start to put heat my pan. So, Anasha, he's in a bathtub now, <laughs> enjoying. So we're gonna now start to fry my fish. Now again, the reason why I have a candle, apart from its beautiful aesthetics, is when you fry anything with a stronger smell, I always like my open kitchens, but for those of you with closed kitchens, light the candle beside it. Not only will it get the flies out, it will also remove smell, okay? Now for those of you who want even less salt in your brine mixture, you can put two cups of water in. But for me, I like, uh, this, is, this is a good idea, uh, two cups of water instead of four. Two cups of water, three fourth cup of um, McCormick iodized salt, and one half cup of vinegar. It's really a perfect mix for me. You want a little less salt? Then you add more water to this. Go for three cups of water with your one kilo, okay? Okay, so while I'm waiting for my pan to heat up, because I'm gonna fry my fish, I am using La Española pomace olive oil to fry this. I'm using a non-stick pan so that I don't have to drench it in olive oil or in oils. Remember that we love fried food, but you see non-stick pans were invented so that we do not have to deep fry. You just drizzle a little bit of beautiful uh, pomace olive oil or pure olive oil, or if you're lighter temperatures, then you have your La Española um, extra virgin flavored olive oils. You just drizzle a little bit and then you saute, you sear, you grill, or you, in this case, fry, okay? So remember that there's no need to dip your food into, you know, into a bath of oil. You just drizzle a bit onto a good nonstick pan. I have a very, very simple nonstick pan I love to use. And um, it works, it works. You get that effect. Okay, all right, so I'm gonna now remove this from its liquid. It's been an hour, right? So I'm gonna remove this from this liquid. Do we have some questions there? <laughs> hi, Gabby, hi. Oh, mother and daughter, I love that cooking team. You're gonna cook it together? Share with me your recipe, okay? 
Dadai, I really, really miss you and I will never forget what you taught me about the goats and the goat milk and how to pasteurize and all that. That's priceless, priceless, priceless. Anyway, who else is there? Hi, Marlon. I hope you're enjoying. Hi, Kesulivan. My gosh, you're Takbo PH and you've got this thing going on with a sardine company. I think that's brilliant. You guys are always blessed because scripture is centered in your lives, right, Ke? Love it, love it. Everything goes back to scripture. Truly, the biblical diet. I have to wash my hands again. Sarap eh, when you're holding on to fresh fish. <laughs> Anyway, the biblical diet, if you listen to the biblical diet, it is truly the best thing. It talks about fruits, it talks about vegetables, it talks about honey, it talks about crickets. Can you imagine? Hmm, how can we cook crickets? Oh, Johan Movido, the chef, Tenten Casasola, the McCormick chefs whom I love. Let's figure out now cricket recipe. I think in Pampanga they have something. Diba, if we put maybe some McCormick spices, sarap, diba, in olive oil, I bet. Anyway, the biblical diet is truly the key to health. So it's really all there, the manual to living in all this confusion in the world today. The manual to living. And I believe, by the way, that 2020, people are saying, wow, 2020 really brought us so much. Actually, if your eyes are wide open, 2020 is perfect vision, diba? So if we are humble enough to understand scripture and to understand the message of the good Lord, and we have that 2020 vision, it's salvific. I call this really um, sacred times. Sacred times for us to be aware of what is truly important. Parang reboot, humanity reboot. Hindi ba? You agree with me, Dada, you know? Humanity reboot. Okay, what do you think? Humanity reboot, meaning let's go back to what's important. All these things, all these frivolous things, sports car, all these things we don't really, really need. What is important, of course, is food security. And food security comes from where? Does it come from the, you know, the grocery shelves? We should not. We should depend on the little soil that we have in our areas and start planting. Plant malungay, plant alugbati, plant saluyut, patola, you name it, and let's create edible decorative gardening, no? So I think Vision 2020, think about it, guys. All that's happening now is forcing us, Humanity Reboot, to open our eyes to what is truly of value. God-made solutions, not man-made solutions. No, 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 you're still on Sabrina's Kitchen. Baka you think you're lost and you went to some Christian channel, but we all are in our work, in all we do, we are Christians first and foremost, and so I can't help but introduce it. I hope you don't mind, guys. Anyway, let's start to fry. Okay, it should be nice and hot. So you want to drain this because otherwise it's going to, you know. So let's pretend we've been soaking this for one hour. Okay, there we go. All right, so there he is frying now. What happens is after I uh, soak it in the brine, right? Leave it for an hour outside, room temp. And then after I drain it, I stick it in the freezer. I will only take that out when I'm about to cook it. However, you can cook it in advance and I'll show you a few other ways. Let's just see how this is going. Huh? Okay. So very simple, the banana stick pan, no need to... Uh... Ooh, it smells so good, it smells so good, sorry. You know, the ilongas, you will know us because we've got to you, we were eating with our hands. We just love food. I'm cooking nicely in my nonstick pan. We just a beautiful La Española pomace. 
drizzle, olive oil drizzle. Why again for maize? Because it's got higher burning temperature, which means that when you um, need to fry, Las Panola for maize is a solution for you, okay? So what am I smelling? I'm not smelling that, you know, that stench. Actually, there's this joke, you know, this Balikbayan lady was so excited. Of course, she's Ilonga, I'm sure. And she was in customs in the United States and she was stopped by the customs agents because they said, lady, what's that? And of course, she was bringing in dying. And she explains, she said, oh, that's dying. You know, the customs agent tells her, he says, lady, it's not dying, it's dead. All right, so we have to, laugh no man, guys. So we have to admit it. Okay, that's that stench because it's um, dry. It's, I don't know. I don't know the process. I don't know the process. Hi, Jessica. Anyway, right now, what I'm frying, it's absolutely beautiful. The smell is just fresh fish. I can actually smell some of the vinegar into that, you know, it's, it's just wonderful. And again, fried fish will have a bit of a smell. So light your candle so that uh, you don't attract flies and the smell doesn't go into your furniture, okay? All right. So I'm gonna pull out uh, my bottle so that I can show you while waiting for that to fry how to bottle it. Very simple, one second. Ta-da! <laughs> Who's that? Hi, hi. Oh, you like my wig? Crazy, right? Okay, anyway, we dress up as we make to you. So here's a simple bottle. Of course, I sterilized it. Simple bottle, sterilize it, you know, uh, let it boil a bit in the hot water. Then again, pour the hot water in, okay? Now, let's see, let's see first how my dye is doing. take some time because it's a little wet. Anyway, let's start. So here we have wonderful, um, already shredded, beautiful dalagam bukid daing. So all this brilliant, it's still crunchy, it's just lovely. So into my pan, uh, into my uh, sterilized bottle, I'm gonna throw in half heated you want this hot okay you want this slightly heated along with your oil the reason being that when you put in your spices I'm putting in some labuyo I'm putting in some garlic I'm putting in some laurel leaf pepper McCormick peppercorns McCormick laurel leaf and a bit of cumin so at least when you put these in it's warm and all those beautiful herbs and peppers and garlic and labuyo will start to melt into your to your right or dying so i'm also using <clears throat> half so whatever size bottle you have all right you want to put in half vinegar and half um extra virgin olive oil in this case i use the la española extra virgin olive oil so now i'm throwing in my Just check. I'm throwing in my already shredded. So are you seeing where I'm going with this? You can buy lots of fish in season, right? And you can so do this already. Wait, I kind of went overboard, so let's spill some out. Okay. And then we fill that up. Okay, I want you to see how that looks. Beautiful. Really, really beautiful. Again, I did not have to deep fry it, diba? Right? So you put this in here and you keep it in the refrigerator. 
And this will last a long, long time. You don't need to freeze it. So I'm throwing in some cut up labuyo. The sky's the limit with this recipe, guys, okay? The only thing you need to make sure in your bottle is that it's covered to the brim. So in other words, if I have fish, I have dying in here, I do not want it exposed to the elements. Do you understand? It's got to be covered to the top, right? So when you do find that your bottle, uh, your liquid in the bottle is going down, you just add some more vinegar and add a little bit more oil to that. And you have beautiful, beautiful to you for pasta, for, for um, crackers, pika pika, for anything, for a, a fried uh, a lye, for anything pretty much. Okay, we'll get to get that later. I just want to finish this. So somewhere in between. And then of course I put in, so it's looking like that, right? And then of course I'm putting in my McCormick. Lovely laurel leaf of McCormick in there as well. And then of course peppercorns, right? Beautiful peppercorns. After this, we'll do our pasta na and we'll do our Pinoy breakfast, okay? So that's up to you how much you want to do. Looks like that, beautiful. No need for salt na. If you, if you uh, want to add more, then that's up to you. But there you go. Beautiful, right? With all our lovely... Um, you can use also... You can also do this form with... Yeah, so you can also do this with cheese. Let's say you have a lot of cheese. Goat's cheese, queso pote, like that. And you know that that will have limited shelf life, right? What I do when I get a lot of that is I make the same mixture, half olive oil, half vinegar, right? Use a good olive oil, a nice uh, La Española, maybe a basil or a garlic or a lemon infused olive oil. Add your vinegar to that. And then you throw in your, your um, cheese in cubes. So if it's queso and puti, throw it in there. What's important is it's covered. So no oxygen can hit your um, fish or your, or your um, even, I love doing this to, uh, what do you call this? Pepper, bell peppers that you put on the grill, bell peppers, tomatoes, whatever that you put on the grill. I love the same thing. The principle is just make sure it's covered. And when you start to use it and the liquid starts to lessen, just add again. All right, so you got that. So many uses for this, so many uses for this. So we've done our second, all right? I'm sharing with you the recipe of all of this. And um, lastly, I wanna do my pasta. Let me just wash my hands, okay? in a pan again I'm using uh, I'll use some La Española uh, lemon olive oil for this right and then I'm gonna throw in my wonderful shredded to you and dying in there what am I gonna add to that for my lovely pasta which is quite a bit let's Okay. So for my pasta, you can use whatever. I'm, I'm doing a lovely San Remo uh, spaghetti pasta, but I love their angel hair as well. Okay. 
This is the fun part there, the plating. Okay. So to my fried fish, I'm throwing in wonderful whole chunk tomato chunks, okay? Of course, I'm throwing in garlic. Now I'm throwing in black, beautiful black olives and capers into my pasta with the tuyo, right? So this is a beautiful tuyo pasta, sort of like a Pinoy puttanesca, right? Instead of sardines, I'm using tuyo. cream or would I put some cheese or would I put some tomato sauce that's up to you I'm keeping it this way all right but you can so do that so again now you know you can have salt less dying into you and I can tell you that this is extremely healthy why is it healthy because the bones and the meat of the fish are really pure protein, pure nutrition, vitamins, minerals. The bones are calcium, right, for us. So eating all that is brilliant, brilliant. This is smelling so, so, so good. I'm smelling the capers. Of course, I'm smelling the tuyo. I'm smelling the, the La Española lemon. Olive oil on this. I'm gonna add a little more. And then I wanna put some Italian seasoning to this as well. McCormick Italian seasoning. Here we go, Make, getting gigiel. Okay. Wonderful. You know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna have this with some wonderful red wine in a bit. Brilliant. And then, I did not add to this salt. You are welcome to, but again, we are trying to help you with a less salt diet, right? So you can so have your dying and eat it too. I want you to see how beautiful Absolutely beautiful plate. Can you see that? I set up. And as the Ilongas would say, Kanamit. Okay. So, what I'm really doing is I want you to see that. Of course, I can mix this a bit better, but you get the idea, right? With all that beautiful goodness there. You can, again, drizzle some Parmesan cheese into this, but as for me, I'm gonna have it as is, a fresh lemon squeeze, a little bit of uh, McCormick Cayenne on the top, and of course, my last bits of this. So really beautiful, healthy cooking. It's not as tough as they want you to think, right? Not as tough as that at all. And so the next time fish is in season, before the rains hopefully, hmm, voila. So there you go. A beautiful tuyo pasta, right? You saw how I did that. Of course, we have our bottle. You saw how I did that and all the many ways to do that. And then, wait a minute, wait a minute. I also have 
a wonderful fried and lie here. Of course, I'm missing an egg. driver nami <laughs> I don't understand what are you saying huh Uy, sarap so already I have put a simple our dying that we made from scratch and I put it on a beautiful fried ad lie again hinaluban ad lie I'll post everything for you the McCormick spices in here cayenne a little bit of cumin McCormick uh, peppers, right? And then you've got your garlic and labuyo in there. Here we have our McCormick Italian seasoning, beautiful La Española, lemon olive oil, right? I'm just waiting for my egg, huh? So now you know we can so have dying. <laughs> Where is my there? Yeah, I slice me a kamati so. Okay, so contrary to what people think, we need good cholesterol. We need a low so sodium diet, low salt diet. And the way I get away with it is I add vinegar and I add spices. When you add beautiful McCormick spices to your food, you don't need to intensify your salt. Konting asin lang, and then you put your cayenne, you put a little bit of vinegar in there, you put your spices, cumin, um, paprika, you know, all these things bring out flavor. So you don't need much salt. That is really why I love my spices and herbs so much, huh? Thank you. So I'm just, just decorating my beautiful breakfast plate, the Pinoy breakfast. Here we go, contrast, color. So what do I do with my kamatis when I have this for breakfast? Are you like that? Um, I dip it in vinegar and then I eat it with my with my daing and with my uh, eggs. Sarap. Sarap, sarap. Okay, yeah. okay, so I'm throwing in an egg for those of you who are hungry right now. Wonderful. And chevre, I have to make pakaela on this. Yan. So there you have it. Homemade, less salt, healthy dying. I promise you, you will eat this from head to tail. It is so masara. And then we have our wonderful toyo pasta. Okay. And then we have our bottled toyo for your pika picas, you put them in beautiful crackers, right? Make it a little bit more spicy. I love the McCormick cayenne. Hey, George, you found me. George de Guzman. Did your beautiful wife make you homemade daing before? Oh, here, you missed it. You have to stop, rewind, play, so that you can catch how we did the daing. Very, very easy, okay? And again, I love your painting. It doesn't get much... You can't see it from here, but it's there. It inspires me. I love it. Thank you for bringing it all the way from America. I love you, George de Guzman. I only sang Abu Chikik for you. FYI. <laughs> well, kindred souls, kindred souls. Anyway, here we go. Bottled, 
half olive oil, right? I used a beautiful basil, La Española, extra virgin olive oil for this, and half vinegar. I put in wonderful McCormick Bay Leaf. I put in, of course, McCormick, really, really beautiful peppercorns. I love to bite into that. So as it soaks into your warmed olive oil and your warmed vinegar, and you throw in your fried to you in there, shredded to you, this becomes a whole nother different meal and so many opportunities. Again, you can do the same process for cheese that you have a lot of and you don't want it to go bad before it goes there. Cut it up already in cubes and do this. All I ask is that you make sure it's covered. Shampre, you sterilize your bottles first, huh? Then you make sure that every bit, every chunk of cheese or fish or bell pepper grilled, huh? Whatever, is covered to the brim. So that no... <laughs> Hello, my love. How are you? How's the weather in Bukidnon, Renee? Mwah. Yes, make sure it's covered to the brim so that it will not get amag. Right? I know a lot of people, they ask me that, how do you do it para hindi maamag like that? The key is really just keeping it covered. Because the minute the meat's exposed, then the, um, what do you call this? The uh, oxygen, the air starts to poison your food. And then amag starts, right? Mold starts. So just keep it covered. If as you use this, it's lessening, add vinegar, equal amounts of vinegar and extra virgin olive oil to your bottle you can use it for cheese you can use it for grilled vegetables in season it's it's out there sometimes even kamatis they're so plenty it's so cheap sometimes it's so mahal grilled eggplant grilled bell peppers i love to do this and throw it out into a pasta antipasti salad or something really really awesome so there you have it our fried to you right fried daing which we showed you earlier how to brine that. And then we have our beautiful to you pasta. Very, very, very simple. All healthy, all wonderful. And for those of you wonderful Filipino women who I adore and love that are married to foreigners, you now can cook and make your daing at home. And don't share any with them, huh? You let them beg you, you let them beg you and say, please, please, I want some of that dying, okay? <laughs> I love you guys, let's see. Oh my, we're five minutes early. Oh, can I share something with you? Are you all good? <laughs> Hello, where are you coming, calling from? Ah, Jensan, Jensan. So wow, we've got a few there, Bukidnon, Jensan. I think, George, you are stuck in Bicol, right? Okay. So, uh, if you have questions, you're welcome to ask me if you have any questions. Do you have any questions? Can I see this again from the start? Absolutely, Nenning. Once I end this, you stay on my page and you can uh, start it from the beginning. On Sabrina's Kitchen, you just press videos and you can choose the video how to make whatever. I have crepes, I have um, burritos and tacos, I have, what else have I done? There's so many there, salads of course, there's quite a few, a black paella there. And of course now it's how to make homemade, less salt, less smelly, very definitely. There is no stench here to you and dying so with the to your pasta you have a beautiful pinoy breakfast i love my favorite and of course we can bottle it too and i am also sharing nanning so don't worry all the recipes just give me some time to um prettify and put down the recipes and i'll share that with you stay with sabrina's kitchen for so much more of this we've got diys we certainly are going to only offer you that healthy food a healthier version of what's out there because at the end of the day, nutrition is everything. And if they say more fun in the Philippines, I'm going to tell you, it is very definitely more fun when you are healthy. Huh? Okay, so I'm going to just be a little radical since I have exactly two minutes. What is this? These are papaya seeds. You see that? Papaya seeds. And so I eat... 
I eat seven to half a teaspoon of Papa I love you too. Ay nako, Rene, what can I say? What can I say? Love you too. Um, I eat seven to one half teaspoon of papaya seeds every day. All right, papaya is really the best fruit in the world. Now, with the seeds, why why do I recommend the seeds? Look, I'm gonna do that now. I'm gonna shock you all. Mm. So, what am I tasting? It's a wasabi vibe. There's heat to it. I don't dry it. I don't do anything to it. I just um, eat it straight up. And if you know what wasabi is like, if you take wasabi straight up, it's pretty much got this effect. But I want you to research what papaya seeds are doing for you. It is great for a cirrhotic liver, right? Many doctors will tell you, ah, pag cirrhosis, wala niya, it's game over, right? Then you have kidney and you have all these things. But there's only one thing I've found that can heal a cirrhotic, start to improve a cirrhotic liver, and that's papaya seeds. Now, the, the perks of this is when your liver is healthy, your skin is glowing, your eyes are glowing, your um, circulation, blood pressure, cholesterol, etc. And a lot of people say this to me. I, how come one, one, ano lang, one vegetable or one herb or one spice, why does it cure all? Parang it's hard to believe. Uh, it's very true. The reason being, our body is all connected. And it's a domino effect if you have a swelling. So they call that swelling inflammation. All the healthy food, when we talk of turmeric, when we talk of um, um, leafy greens, right? We have beautiful leafy greens, malunggay, and so on. These are packed with zinc. These are all anti-aging, anti-inflammatories. Why? If your body's healthy, your body's fighting aging. If your body's healthy, your metabolism's healthy, which means it fights obesity, it fights weight gain, it fights high blood sugars, and so on and so forth. So if you read on my page, you will see I call this a biblical diet. These are the healthy things. And this is God's solution to staying healthy, all right? They're really not man-made solutions, they're God. So it's a choice between you and me if we want to put good stuff in our body. And I can assure you junk food, high salt, food coloring, artificial anti-inflammatories, over-the-counter drugs, that's not good for us. The poor condition of health of our country today, you just have to drive around and see all the dialysis kiosks, it's everywhere. Not to mention the fact if you want to fight COVID, if you want to fight virus in general, you want to keep a strong immune system, you have got to give your body all the leafy greens, which is packed with zinc, and that's malungay. Malungay is actually free if you decide to put them in your in your little areas, in your backyard or in your... I grow alubati, uh, fresh herbs and so on, and I really have a very small space, but you can choose to do that. So anyway, I want you to check out research the benefits of uh, papaya seeds. I can tell you it tightens skin, it fights aging. You know how when you wake up in the morning, and I'm almost done because I'm going five minutes over, but you know when you wake up in the morning and you um, feel drained, you have no energy, you haven't even started yet, you've slept all night, but why am I so weak? That's because our gut is lined with so much um, what do you call this? It's lined with uh, parasites from the food and the bad stuff we eat. It's lined with parasites and all that. So the way to kill those parasites and the way to get rid of that is to eat papaya seeds. So as it clears your gut, as it clears your colon, as it clears your system, it's helping rejuvenate your liver, your kidney, your skin, your weight, fighting diabetes. Of course, it's an anti-inflammatory. It is a super food, just like malungay. It is a super food, and God's way to heal us is not an expensive way, you know? So what? What about us poor? We can't get healthy? We can't. Not true. In fact, if you really pay attention to this, you can be healthier than ever with this kind of food. And um, I'm going to say goodbye. 
a blessed Sunday to you. I have to decide what am I having. Am I having my breakfast at uh, <laughs> 4 in the afternoon? Or am I having my tuyo pasta with a glass of red wine? Hmm. Maybe I'm going to have my tuyo pasta with a glass of red wine. If you have any questions there that I missed, I'll answer them. Please, again, subscribe to my YouTube channel. I have so, 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 so many recipes there. I think it's over a hundred recipes with raw alubati salads and pechai salads and of course hinaluban adlai and all the beautiful McCormick spices. I have acharas and um, tocino tapa. I mean it's all there. Okay? So I'm gonna say goodbye. A blessed Sunday to you all and remember Vision 2020 enlightenment. Okay? Bye guys.